Okay, so today I am doing a pretty complex breast revision. As an expert in breast surgery, I get a lot of patients who have surgery elsewhere and then come to me to fix problems that they've developed. So this patient went to another surgeon and is unhappy with her result. If you see here, she has pretty severe asymmetry. The nipple positions are completely off. The other thing is that the breasts are uh, developed caps or contracture, which is when scar tissue around the implant gets hard, squeezes the implant, and then pushes the implant abnormally high. So if you notice, she has, most of the implant is up here and very little down here, so it's very mismatched and imbalanced. So that's another issue we're gonna fix. So the, the plan is to go in, remove these implants, remove the scar tissue, restore her breast to a more natural uh, and soft shape, and then insert new implants, and then do a lift in order to give her better symmetry. So the next step is to insert the actual implant. So we're gonna do a uh, silicone implant, and this is measuring 385 cc's in volume. And we insert it using a no-touch technique. This is an implant funnel, and it allows us to insert the implant with minimal effort and minimal contamination to ensure that the breast implant goes as in as safely and as cleanly as possible. So next, I'm gonna put this sheet inside the breast. This is gonna wrap around the front of the implant and hopefully she will never have caps or contracture again. So I've inserted the stratus, okay? And what I've done is I've actually cut a little uh, line in the stratus so that it folds better. So that's why you see that. But the stratus is completely covering the entire front of the implant. And as you can see, the breast has a beautiful natural shape. And when she's done, this is going to prevent her from ever getting caps or contracture again. So I've just finished putting in the stratus, the implant and the stratus on the left side. The breast has a very nice shape, it's beautiful, it's soft. However, if you notice, the nipple positions are very off. They're very asymmetric. So now the last step is to perform a lift, what's called the circumareolar or donut lift, to raise this nipple more and raise this nipple slightly so that they match and have better symmetry. So I'm all done. And so as you can see, the, the breasts now have very symmetric shape. The balance of the breast is much better. There's a lot of fullness at the top, but also at the bottom. The nipple is in the middle on both sides. The symmetry is significantly improved. It's almost exactly the same. The size is great, the contours are great. So really, a tremendous improvement over what she had before, and I think she's gonna be very